Welcome, welcome, I'm Sophia from Thank You Forever, and today's video is going to be part two of my Project Pan update. This is for the month of July. The first part has already been uploaded. It is the updates on the products that I already had in the project. So any finished items, any updates will be in that video. This part will only have the products I'm introducing into this video. And the reason I had to do it this way is because I actually have a lot of products I'm introducing. I think it's over 30, I haven't counted. Hopefully it's not 50. Uh, you know, fingers crossed, fingers and toes crossed because this is a dire situation. But the reason I had to do it that way, the reason I had to introduce so many things is because this is not, you know, going to be my permanent place of abode. I will be moving at some point this year and I really don't want to take items that I don't love. I really don't want to take items that are half used or that in ha are in heavy packaging because it is especially half used and in heavy packaging that I don't love. Oh, that one's that one's the worst but I just don't want to do any of that so this project um, right now is turning more into um, a, a usage goal there are still items I want to use up completely but a lot of the products that I'm introducing into this project right now are gonna be usage goals there will still be things that I want to finish but a lot of them are usage goal because I want to take this opportunity to gauge whether I want to keep those products in my collection. And now that I've had the longest introduction ever, let's get into it. Uh, the lighting will change because I recorded this in the middle of the night originally and it is now 6.24 a.m. So let's get into that. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. And you might be thinking, why would she introduce that? Let me tell you, it's not big, it's not bulky, but my favorite shade from it is already used up. It was this one right here. I was using it over that Jouer Creme um, eyeliner, but also the Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold uh, Eyes to Mesmerize, which means that the rest of the palette is basically untouched. So I want to use this palette between between now and September about 20 times. I think that's reasonable and I want to see whether um, I want to keep this whatever remains here or just give this to some give it to my sister give it to someone and then just buy myself a new one because I do miss that shade. The next item I want to introduce is one of the few items I actually want to use up and it is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This was a birthday Super Shock Shadow in Birthday Cake. And I've used up quite a lot of this this year actually. And this is all I have left. It's actually like, there's not very much there. I am wearing this today and I absolutely love it. Uh, what's interesting is I used this up in like four months. So the likelihood is high that I can finish this, but I want to finish this between now and um, the next update. I think that's feasible and I did have to rehydrate this. This is actually why I bought the Duraline and now it's all rehydrated and nice. But keeping up with the uh, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow theme plus items I had to rehydrate, I also want to use this um, ColourPop Super Shock in Banana Daiquiri. I've only used it like once or twice and not very much so it's basically brand new at this point but what I want to do is I want to use this about um, I don't want to give it 10 times this is a pretty bold shade and I don't want to force myself to use it that many times five times between now and the next update I think that is feasible and it will let me know if this is a product that I want to take with me at least one of those uses has to be all over the island and for swatches the birthday cake shade is this one another rose gold easy for me to use up and the banana daiquiri is this shade so very beautiful but definitely need to make an effort the next two items I actually do want to use up and it's not the exact order that I apply it in but it's fine and it's two mascaras they're both open they've both been open for a minute for a hot minute but um, I love the Tart Tartlet mascara and I already have do I have a backup I think I already have a backup and I've been trying out other mascaras that have been sent to me or I've purchased so I've let this you know sit on the sidelines so I want to use this up I don't think there's a lot left maybe about another three weeks of usage left but I want to force myself to use it before it goes bad because I'll be very sad if I have to toss it you know it's a theme that that appears in my life a lot the other one is the i believe this is the l'oreal lash paradise mascara and this is what i'm wearing today it is basically new i think i've only actually no it's not basically new i opened it a while back i think a month ago 
and I've only used it about six times, so I actually want to use this up. These are the only two mascaras I want to concentrate on. There is another one I'm testing out. It's fine for me to test that out, but these have to be finished by the next update, preferably uh, the Tartlet by, by the end of July and the other one by September. The next five items I want to introduce are all eyeliners, so I'm going to just show them to you right now all together. And I'm just going to list the names and tell you how many times I want to use them at the very end. The first item is actually the lavender version of the base eyeliner I'm wearing in my waterline today. It is a beautiful, beautiful lavender purple, but I think it's most appropriate for right now. I want to use this 10 times. The next eyeliner is actually something that was limited edition. It is the Urban Decay uh, Game of Thrones collaboration. And the shade is the Night King. Uh, this is basically what I have. I haven't even sharpened it yet and it is a beautiful midnight shade. This is going to be lovely. I want to use this uh, I believe 10 times but I think I can I think I'm going to do that before the end of this year, but 10 times for that. The next two are both from Milani, and I don't think they make these anymore, but I really love them. They're metallic. They're actually they're the Milani Metallics. Well, I cannot read the names. Nope. Oh, 01 and 04. So 01 is the gold one and the 04 is this bronzy one. So I want to use these both about 10 times each. Um, at least one sharpen, if not two, but, uh, oh, let me show you what they look like. I don't think they make these anymore and I haven't used these very much, uh, certainly not recently. And I just don't know if it's worth me even like lugging them around based on the shade. So this is uh, the gold one. So that's zero one. It's more of like an old gold shade and the other one is bronzy and beautiful, but I just don't know. So 10 times each, at least one sharpen each. Uh, and the last one I want to work on is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Lucky. And this is their uh, copper one. It's a little bit of a blackened copper shade. And I like the shade, but I have two of these, so I would like to use this about um, 10 times as well. Let's make it a little bit feasible for me to actually complete this. Let's move on to primers. The first one I want to uh, tackle is actually one I want to finish, and it is the Ren Skin Care Perfect Canvas Silicone Free Skin Finishing Serum. It's basically new. It's all the way up here. It is a very liquidy serum. Um, what? Come on. For some reason, it was like, see, like it's super liquidy as you can see. And there's a ton of product in there. You don't need very much. Maybe one pipette. Problem is, the reason I want to use this up is because this is glass. If I'm going anywhere, if I'm moving anywhere, I certainly don't want to be lugging glass anywhere with me. So this is a finish goal preferably by the next update. The next item is the Laura Geller uh, Spackle Makeup Primer. This is in the original. I don't actually love this very much. I'm not truly sure if I like this. This was new about two weeks ago. I don't use it every day, but at this point it is like right here. I will mark that and then we'll know where, I'm, where I got started. So this I want to use on the days I'm not using the one I just showed you to determine whether I like it enough to take with me. If it's not doing anything for me, I'm not gonna take it anywhere. So this is more of a, let's say, let's give this a 15 goal because I think 15 will allow me to actually reach something. And next one is one of the glowy ones. It is the Cover FX Click Stick uh, highlighters. I used up one of these sides, but I haven't used up the second one. Actually, it's no longer in the stick, but it is in this little tub that I have, this container. I deep potted it because it was just breaking in the stick. And this is what it looks like. It's like really celestial. And I think that was the name for it. I am wearing it today at like the high points and it is beautiful at creating a glow. I'm very, very excited. I do want to use that up and I think I can use that up. It almost fell. Um, I think I can use that up and then I can call this entire stick, both sides of them, finished. And that is the goal because I don't want to be looking anything around. So let's get into the base products. I have a lot of them and it's all about shade matching, undertone matching and all that. So the first item I actually want to use up because I know it works and it is the It Cosmetics Perfect Lighting uh, Radiant Touch Magic Wand. This is in the shade Radiant Neutral. It's one of those little like... Um, uh, sticks that's supposed to lighten the area or brighten the area for under the eyes. Um, I've used it. It is nice. I don't 
think there's a lot left in there maybe half of it i can't close it but i want to use this up because i don't want to lug it around i've had it when they from when they launched it they actually sent it to me and that was so long ago that they don't make it anymore so let's use that up continuing with it cosmetics i have a lot of their products it is the it bye bye redness neutralizing correcting cream in tra in uh transforming neutral beige i'm not actually sure what this is i don't know if this is a concealer i don't know if this is a base product do i mix it with one of the primers to get like more of a light coverage situation happening this is all i have i think it's basically new well i think it's basically unused because they don't make this anymore either so i'm going to try and use this about 10 times to determine what it is and how to use it if this is more of a concealer if it works fine i'll keep it that's great um but because i think people love this i think people love this but if it doesn't work, then I can toss it and I don't have to take it anywhere with me. The next three products are actually basically the same thing, but not really. It is these three It Cosmetics CC creams, and they are in different shades. This is in Fair, this is in Light, and this is in Fair Light. And here's the reason why I'm introducing all of them. Fair Light is usually the shade that I use whenever I am uh, fake tanned. Uh, even if I am not fake tanned, it works the best. However, in this version, this uh, Your Skin But Better CC Plus Nude Glow, um, this is a little bit too deep. It's a little oxidizing and it oxidizes deep. So I want to work on this and see if there's a way for me to make it work better because I believe I liked the way this looked but it looked a little bit too deep so I'm considering using the fair shade in order to lighten it up and then that'll that'll work perfectly well if this doesn't work on its own now you'd think that the fair shade on its own would be perfect for me in the winter but it isn't it's too light for me in the winter so I need to either deepen it up with fair light or mix two pumps of this or three pumps of this with like one pump of this one which is light sounds complicated right it is so basically i'm going to be using these about 10 times each i believe and gauging how that works for me um i don't think i'm going to get rid of all of them at the end of the two months but one of them is either going to have to go or at least i'll know how to make them work because I love them. I just have a shade matching problem, which I tend to have a lot. The next two items I also want to either finish or at least get close to finishing. And it is the uh, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrators. I actually love this product. I am wearing it today. I'm wearing this fair one today. And mind you, I'm wearing it after a fake tan so that is the problem the fair one is too deep even when i'm really fair and if i'm able to wear it right now and i am not very sure how the light works so i'd like to actually i'd like to use up the shade fair completely and i'd like to figure out if the shade light is worth it for me so i think i'm going to try to use this also 10 times so use up for the fair use 10 times for the shade light and the final, <laughs> final uh, base product I want to work on, but only to figure out if I like it or not, is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Lace. This is, I'm not sure about the shade matching on this one. That's what it looks like. Looks like it, it could be nice. It smells fine still, so, because I've had this for a very, very long time. But I'd like to use this. I think I'm going to try to use this about 10 times as well. Everything's about 10 times. Keeping track of this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to have to rewatch this and take notes. But I think I'm going to try to use that 10 times over the next uh, two months just for the sake of figuring out if it's something that I want to keep at all. If I find usage for it, great, I'll keep it. But if I see no usage for it at all, out it goes. I don't want it clogging up my packing space for heaven's sake i'm gonna move on to the bronzers next this first one is the only use up goal and it is the merit uh bronze bomb i believe that's the full name yeah bronze bomb in the shade clay and the reason this is a use up goal is because i was gifted this last august 
uh, or September, I believe. And this is a clean beauty brand. And I still have a lot. Sorry, that was very dramatic. But I still have a lot of product in here. And these tend to, clean beauty brands tend to go bad really quickly. So I've not been using this at all. I just put it away and I completely forgot about it. So I'd like to use this. And I think I would like to use this up before the end of this year. This is definitely like very light. It's just very easy to use. So um, this is a use up goal for that purpose. Actually, this one and its sister and its sister is in the shade Quince. And yeah, I have both and I got them both at the same time. And I have quite a lot of this. This is the lighter shade one. And I have, oh my gosh, do I have even more of that? But between this one and the other one, I'd like to, I think, yeah, I think I'd like to use these both up by the end of this year. And I think that's feasible because I'm just going to prioritize these as my cream bronzers that doesn't mean I'm not going to use any other cream bronzers because I do have favorites and I'm about to show you the next one which is a cream bronzer but it is a really deep one for me and I can only use it in the summer and it is the Charlotte Tilbury one this is the beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer and it's in the shade medium so I can actually make medium work I am actually wearing it today but I've not used it very much because um, I've not been fake tanning as much. When I'm fake tan, this is usable. If I'm not fake tan, it's not. And my goal is to use this 20 times because if I use it 20 times, I think that at least I'll be getting some usage out of it instead of forgetting about it. Actually, no, let's make that 30 times. 30 times, yes, I can use this 30 times and then I can at least like put it away in like a darkly dark darkly lit place, no big deal. The next one's gonna be super surprising. It is also a blush, it is a powder one. This is in the MAC limited edition packaging. They came out with this like at this point almost a decade ago and I've never used it or actually I used it like two days ago and I'm not sure if it even had any like color payoff. I don't know if it's that old and this is in the shade golden and let me show you what it looks like on the inside sorry let me scooch over this is what it looks like and I'm not sure if it has any color payoff so that is the main point trying to determine if this has any color payoff if it's worth keeping um, you know is it just like decor at this point is the main goal here so this is going to be something that I want to make myself use because it is making myself use because I don't like powder bronzers very much right now I want to use this, I, I would say 20 times as well. I think 10 times in July, 10 times in August will give me an idea of whether this is worth taking anywhere with me. Let's move on to blush. I only have one. I know, so happy. And it is the LYS uh, Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in Unforgettable. So this is a small size and it's small because it was one of the uh, three that came in their holiday set and I believe this shade is not the shade that's uh, in their permanent line and I'm wearing the shade today over the Pat McGrath a lipstick that I was talking about and it is beautiful for that it is perfect for summer look how beautiful that is it's just a bit of a deep coral and it's lovely so I'd like to use this um, every time I use that shade but I think I'd like to use it on its own as well my goal is to use this about 30 times because I think that's a decent amount of times and I do want to eventually use this up and get it out of my collection I like it too much to let it go but I can't even talk about it if it's limited edition or if it's no longer available talking about limited edition the next item was also limited edition when I bought it for $75 and it is this Chanel Camellia de Chanel illuminating powder yes this is when they came out with the camellia highlighters i think the first time i don't know i think they've done it since then it's a highlighter i thought was very sparkly but it looks like that was just overlay and i love it i mean i love it enough that i've gotten basically a flattened out a lot of that middle of the uh, camellia and I think I think I'd like to use this 30 times as well get some like good use out of it make up for the years I didn't use it because I think I bought it six years ago Continuing with Chanel, I'm going to bring in another Chanel lipstick because we know that I'm terrible at using them and it, it's this little one and it is the Rouge Coco Shine in 79 Saga. I don't think they make these anymore, but I don't have a lot. It's just this. I think it's usable. Says she, having not been able to use 
the others that are similar shades. So uh, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna, yeah, it smells great, it smells fine. I'm gonna work on this and my goal is to actually just finish this between now and the end of the year. That should be feasible. The only other lipstick I'm bringing in, uh, cause everything else will be lip liners, is actually this one from uh, KVD. This is their a go-go shade. This is a super orange shade. And I don't know if they reformulated or renamed it, but this has been my favorite shade. I actually bought it just before they uh, got rid of these. So this is relatively fresh. I want to use this five times, just five times. I bought it a few months ago and I didn't get to use it. This is a favorite shade on me. So five times for that. And now let's move on to the lip liners because there's a lot. There's a lot. And the reason there's a lot is because I need to know whether these are worth keeping in my collection. The first lip liner I'm gonna show you is the only one I want to use up from the new introductions, and it is this uh, Makeup Forever, what are these called? High Precision Lip Pencil in the shade number 23. This is a beautiful shade. I have it lining my uh, lips right now on the outer rim with the uh, Kylie Jenner one in the middle. It's beautiful. I think this is gonna be stunning, and the goal is to use this up before the end of this year because I've had this for so many years. I don't actually remember possibly six maybe seven a very long time the next lip liner i would like to just use maybe like five times between now and the end of this year is this urban decay 24 7 glide on lip pencil in 714 it's a beautiful red lip liner it's just a basic red and i think it's going to be stunning it's going to be an easy lip liner to use at some point this year so let's use it the next lip liner I want to bring in is actually something that I just think is perfect for this season. It is this Sephora one. This is their Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade Creme de la Creme. It is a beautiful. I can't open the cap. Oh, there we go. It is a beautiful, like a corally beige. So I think it's going to be lovely. And this is just to use it like 10 times as well. Like a lot of these are going to be like 10 times uses mainly because I just like that number. It's not something that I can use very easily or very quickly, but it's enough to give me an understanding of whether I like it or not. This next one though will not be 10 times. It's only going to be five times. It's also like the same line as the Sephora one that I just showed you, but this is in the shade dressed to the 90s and it is this definitely those 90s grungy looking shades which is not my actual favorite and it looks very deep on my lips so it's this shade right here and this one's going to be just a five use uh goal because it's not a shade that i can use very frequently very easily the next one is this rare beauty kind words yeah kind words matte lip liner in the shade talented this is not my perfect shade i just I don't know if it's just me not using it correctly, so that is the main goal of this, just to determine if this is just a me issue or just the shade not uh, being suited for me. Like, if there's a way for me to make it work, great. But if there isn't, I'd like to give this to my sister um, if possible. So this is a, um, I would say 10 as well, 10 goal. The next one I don't love because I like its sister, and it is this Makeup Forever uh artist color pencil in anywhere caffeine i like the wherever walnut but this one is not my favorite i thought i would love it and it's again because it doesn't have that pinky base it's this one right here it's a little bit more coffee which makes sense anywhere i mean yeah uh anywhere caffeine means there it's coffee coffee colored and it is so it's a little bit too warm i'm not sure if i love it though the other day i used it in such a way that made me think that i loved it so i want to use that 10 times as well look at that did you guess that i'm sure you did another another red yay and it is also makeup forever this is the aqua lip so it's a completely different line from the other ones because i've had these for so long and this is in the shade hc before they had names so i'm just going to swatch it at the bottom here and this is a cool toned red. So that is the main reason I want to use it. And this is also a five time use goal between now and the end of this year, at least one of them be being between now and the next update, because if it doesn't work, I just don't want to take it anywhere. All that remains is actually skincare and one body care item. And then I'm done. I know that seems insane, but I do, I do have a lot. And uh, the first one is the Strivectin Multi-Action Super C Dark Circle Brightening Eye Serum. I don't think this does anything for me because 
I don't use it very frequently or with any regularity. I'm probably at the halfway point at this point. I also don't have dark circles. So I'm going to see if this is something that is even worth repurchasing. But I do want to use this for two weeks uh, straight every morning. So that is the goal. Two weeks straight every morning. It's probably going to finish this up and I still won't know how I feel about it. The next item is actually this... I don't know what the brand name is. I can't figure it out, but it is a urea moisture lotion. And so I don't have a lot in here, but it's because I already decanted it into this bottle. So I do want to finish this up because it's not my favorite. My favorite is the Laneige one that they just launched, or actually all of them. So I thought that this might be better. It is not for me. So I just want to use this up so I don't have to lug it to my next place of abode. Um, the next item is this Saint-Tropez Self-Tan Purity um just bronzing water face mist and the only reason i wanted to bring this in is because i keep forgetting to use it and by saying that i mean like ever so i'm gonna do it right now on camera so you guys see oh it does not taste good it does not taste good i should i should not have sprayed that so i used it but the goal is to actually use this up before i need to move anywhere because it's only at the halfway point and these can go a little bit bad and i've had this for almost two years at this point or is it one year i think i've had it for almost a year and a half let's just say a year and a half let's just go in the in between point so i want to use it up and i think i have another one in like a backup storage so time to use it up and the last item is actually this the body shop um body butter in pink grapefruit i just keep forgetting to use it <laughs> there's quite a lot already used if you can see it but i keep forgetting to use it and i I think it's starting to turn so that is the main goal just finish this before it turns and the last item is actually this osea advanced protection cream i actually bought this very recently but and i've used it i've used it quite a lot i would say but the reason i don't want to you know use this naturally because i think this would be better in the winter is because it's a really heavy glass jar and i don't want to lug a half used jar wherever it is that i'm going when it's not necessary and when i don't love the product so that is the main reason and the goal is to use this up completely and that's it that's it i'm done i'm done i'm gonna let you go now i'm sorry that this suddenly became a two-parter video i did not intend that but i think it was necessary because this is a lot and i'm a goal-oriented person now i have goals that i must reach and I like that. So I'm going to write all of that up and I will see you in my next update in two months. Bye.